Hello. Well, today's walk is going to take us over Higator, which is the larger hill to the right, and then down onto Carl Walk, which is the smaller one to the left. And uh, Carl Walk is a bit of an enigma because there's a lot of dispute about what it actually was. Uh, we'll see when we get there that there's quite a lot of uh, human activity taking place there and human construction has been built around the, uh, the hill. Some think it was an Iron Age hill fort, but others aren't so sure. So, anyway, here we go, let's go and see what we can find. So as we look back on our route, you can see how it comes down off the hillside from the car park and over to the right you can also see the rocky edge which is above the um, trackway built by the Duke of Rutland in the 1820s to take his guests from Longshore Lodge, which is way over to the right here, um, to take them up onto the grouse moors for their shooting. Looks like somebody's very kindly provided some steps. The view's starting to open out a bit. Here we are, just about at the top. So when you get to the top, a magnificent view opens out and uh, looking over in this direction you can see um, well there's Wynn Hill and Lewes Hill over there and you can see the scar scars caused by the quarrying and uh, factory at Castleton and beyond there in the haze, you can't really see it very well but beyond there there's Mam Tor, which uh, is another Iron Age hill fort built on the top of the, the hill there Magnificent. Well, now we've moved over to the other side of uh, Hikator now, and you can see Carl Walk quite clearly looking down upon it. Um, and you can see its construction and shape slopes gently from east to west and uh, there's a, a wall, a rampart that's been built at the western side. The whole thing is surrounded by ramparts and walls which uh, encloses a, a level area. It's a bit of a mystery what it was though, whether it was a hill fort whether it was an Iron Age hill fort or whether it was simply some sort of enclosure for protection of people during the Romano-British times. Nobody seems to know. It's a bit of a mystery. There's not a great deal of evidence to be found. The archaeologists have tried, but there's not a great deal to be found to uh, suggest how old it is and when it was built. So let's go and have a look. Oh, 
It's a bit of a steep climb down off the, off the hill. Glad I'm going this way, not that way. Walk, and uh, this is the, the rampart, man made rampart, which you can see is quite substantial. It's uh, 40 metres that way, length, and up to 3 metres high at its highest. And it's made of these granite blocks, which are 8 metres deep into the hillside. And the, on the other side, there's a slope that comes up to the level of the wall quite a substantial man-made thing. Built for a purpose, but who knows what that purpose was. So let's go around and have a look on top. They could uh, defend that side of the, the hilltop by standing on top of the wall or crouching on the bows and arrows or whatever, whatever they had. And then the rest of the hilltop is very, it's, well it's all rocky, it's, there's boulders, there's flat grassy areas but it doesn't look like the sort of place where people could have lived for very long. Interesting. Come to the other side of the fortifications now, and we can see here another bit of man made wall. This is curved inwards and creates an entrance, so presumably, this was the original entrance to whatever it was that this fortification was for. As you walk around the perimeter of the fortifications, you can see how somebody's tried to make it, make it very difficult for any attackers to get up there. All these boulders they'd have to clamber over, and uh, the steep side, and any defenders on top would be easily able to attack them from above. But there's evidence of other work going on around here as well. This is the remains of a millstone that somebody's started making. Looks like they've not finished it and abandoned it. So much later on work was going on up here and people must have been living nearby and coming to take advantage of the resources that were here. So then I think we'll carry on down and head into the valley down there. You can just see Duke's Drive, the Duke of Rutland's drive that he created for his uh, grouse shooters to use to get up onto the moors. So we'll go down there, but we'll go down to the left over here because there's a, a little old bridge that I presume was built by the Duke of Rutland as well to help his grouse beaters get across the stream and uh, we'll join his drive part way up and uh, head back up to where we started. Here we are then, back on the main path, down from Carl Walk. You can see again from the, this is the eastern edge we're looking at here, of the fortifications. Very steep up to them.
<coughs> so here we are, over here. Little bridge over the Burbage Brook. Lovely little bridge, isn't it? Little Claffer Bridge, probably, of some sort. But I don't think it's as old as possibly one might think. I suspect it's from the same era, the 1820s, as when the Duke of Rutland built his Duke's Drive, which is uh, up on the hill behind the camera, which is where we'll be going next. Okay. So this is quite a good spot to look back on where we've come from. You can see Higato over to the right here and uh, Carl Walk up to the left there and the, uh, the valley between where we walk through and uh, in the bottom of the valley there you can see where the bridge is and where the Burbage Brook goes through the valley and we cross the river on the brink of that little bridge. There we are on Duke's Drive and uh, it comes from Longshore Lodge down that way, heads up that way along the edge of the valley to the Ringing Low Road from Sheffield. That's the way we'll be going now. up here are very popular with rock climbers, particularly during the summer when the weather's nice. But, uh, you seem to see them here at all times of year, trying the skills on the rocks. So we're getting to the end of our walk now. You can see the, the bridge over the the Burbage Brook up the top there and the path winding its way up to the car park. So we've walked all the way around. It's been a beautiful day. So there's Carl Walk. Last look. 